Hey everybody, this is Chris Gill, host of Deconstructing the Home Show, and I wanted to talk for just a minute about someone, probably a lot of y'all know who they are. It's a pretty famous name, and the name is Dave Ramsey, Mr. Financial Guy, who's making America, in a lot of ways, so much better, and helps people to think about money and how to use it properly. But there's one area and one thing he talks about that I frankly disagree with. And actually, I would say I disagree with so much that if I hadn't done this one thing differently, I would probably not be anywhere near where I am currently with a business that's, you know, has owned millions of dollars worth of real estate over the last several years and is growing to get even bigger more quickly. And, and I'm not saying, again, that Dave Ramsey is wrong. He's got a lot of great stuff. But this is one area that if this is tweaked, and, and I understand why he says this, but I'm going to be making a case that you need to disagree with Dave Ramsey in this one area, and that is with the use of debt and leverage. And uh, debt is, you know, a four-letter word, and oh my gosh, but there's a very specific way you need to use debt, and that is for leverage. So I, I'm not saying, you know, go rack up credit card debt, but, but the incredible thing about real estate as an asset class is that if you're trying to buy something that's worth $100,000, you essentially only need to have twenty dollars to $25,000 to secure and have $100,000 worth of buying power. That is frankly unheard of. It's not like that in stocks. It's not like that in buying a business. It, you, you just, it, it, there's not this direct correlation to, between saying, hey, I can have this much money and I can control this much real estate and I can make money uh, as if I own that piece of real estate. So again, $250,000, that'll buy you a million dollars worth of real estate that could potentially cash flow twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars a year, and so you will make your entire initial investment back in like three to four years. So that's like a thirty to forty percent return on your money. That is insane. Again, though, if you buy cash, as Dave Ramsey seems to always recommend, you will cripple yourself, and it will take you years longer to to make back that money and to grow your business. So there's one specific way I think you need to use debt, and it needs to be used carefully. But it is one. One of the most powerful tools available to a real estate investor. Use it for leverage. Use it for things that are going to make you more money. Don't use debt for the new car. Don't use debt for the clothes. Not the vacation. That's all a bunch of BS. That's a, that's a horrible way to use debt. That's a consumer way to use debt. An investor way to use debt is to say that I can take this, I can leverage this, I can leverage my knowledge, my influence, my team, but also my money to control more assets that will allow the entire cycle to grow rinse and repeat over and over again and so debt needs to be used carefully so go in do your due diligence take the time understand what you're investing in but then invest aggressively and see your business grow so much faster